2023 seems to be laden with phenomenal comebacks for Toyota, as there have been rumors of previous Toyota models, like the Stout, will resurface in Toyota's lineup for 2023. What's more, an even more luxurious comeback is underway, and that's the Japanese automaker's Rolls-Royce equivalent to an SUV model of the Toyota Century. Toyota's been in the auto business for over 80 years, causing waves in the Japanese car industry, and with a stellar record of over 1.25 million sales in Japan in 2022, the auto giant has remained the leading car manufacturer in Japan in the last year, and one of the top three auto manufacturers in the world. Well, many years of experience as a leading car manufacturer means there are retired models stashed away in Toyota's archives that could be revisited and brought to the market anew. And this just seems to be what the 2023 Toyota Century SUV story is. While other top dogs in the car manufacturing industry have stunned the market with comeback models, like the Ford Maverick, which came as a major hit in the small pickup truck market, Toyota hasn't been left out of the reintroduction trend. So when the Best Car magazine published that Toyota has plans to get an SUV version of the Century on the market anytime soon, we've just had to ask what Toyota has in mind for the SUV market. In today's video, we delve into all we've come to know about the new Toyota Century. But before going any further into what Japan's biggest automaker could have cooking behind the scenes, it's best to go back to the very beginnings of the Toyota Century. So where did the Toyota Century all begin? The Toyota Century was first introduced to the market in 1967 as a lineup of limousines and luxury cars targeted primarily at the Japanese market. Toyota brought the Century to the fore as its flagship car in Japan, being in the class of luxury cars like the Rolls-Royce, Mercedes-Benz 600 Series, and Cadillac Series 70, among other high luxury cars. Being in this class of vehicles only means the Toyota Century was particularly designed to be in the car stands for the elite and it's been so since Toyota first coupled its luxury creation for the elite Japanese market. The high-luxury Toyota Century has not only been common among Japanese billionaires, the favorite of the Imperial House of Japan, it's also been common among senior-level Japanese government leaders, and even the Prime Minister of Japan. Toyota named the Century after its founder, Sakachi Toyota, who turned 100 years old at the time of its introduction into the market. When first hitting the market, the Toyota Century was released with just a V8 engine. Much later, 30 years after the Century had first entered the market, Toyota redesigned the Century and replaced the V8 engine with a more powerful V12, built specifically for the elite luxury Japanese car. The Century would again be modified in 2018, but this time, Toyota would go back to using the V8 engine alongside its hybrid technology. However, the luxurious exterior design of the Century never saw any significant design changes, even though the Toyota-created luxury car had come through three generations as of 2018. With Toyota's rumored Century SUV getting ready to hit the market soon, we're all left asking what Toyota could have in mind. But let's begin with what exactly the different generations of the Toyota Century look like and how the Century's evolved over the years. The first generation of the Toyota Century hit the market in 1967. The original Century featured a 2.6-liter V8 engine and was designed based on the 1964 Toyota Crown 8. For the next 30 years following its release, Toyota made no significant changes to the design of the Century, apart from minor body design adjustments and engine upgrades. Models like the G20, G30, and G40 all belong to the first generation of the Toyota Century, which the Japanese automaker phased out in 1997. In April of 1997, Toyota made its very first redesign of its high-luxury car. This would be the second generation of the Japanese luxury vehicle. The second generation Century didn't differ so much from the first in exterior looks. However, it wasn't going to be running on the V8 engine as in the previous generation. The second generation Century was powered by a 5 liter V12 engine and equipped with a 6 speed intelligent transmission later in 2005, as well as an air transmission. Toyota tried out a V12 engine on a front engine, rear wheel drive vehicle for the first time with the Century. And the Century remains the first and only Japanese car to be equipped in this way. The second generation Century was also the first set to be officially exported from Japan to Europe and other Asian markets. After about another 20 years on the market, Toyota was set to redesign the Century, and so the third generation Toyota Century was released in 2017. The new design went on sale in 2018 with a starting price of 19,600,000 yen, which was the equivalent of $180,000 at the time, up to 60 million yen. The third generation of the Toyota Century came equipped with a hybrid engine, consisting of a 5-liter V8 engine that gave as much displacement as the V12 in the previous generation, supported by an electric drive system that made this generation more fuel efficient. 
the Toyota Century's always been for the elite class, and after coming through three generations and over 50 years of being predominantly in the Japanese market, it's hard to have anticipated an SUV version of the Toyota Century. But then, the Japanese automaker's decision is not without good reasons. The market demand for the high-luxury Rolls-Royce Cullinan SUV has never been higher, and this could just be the best time to get a competitor in the market. Well, just what could Toyota be assembling for the high-luxury SUV market? According to the Best Car magazine, the yet-to-be-released SUV will come built with a hybrid powertrain and an interior that provides enough legroom in the rear seat. It's also believed it'll stretch a length of 5.2 meters and have a massive wheelbase of about 3 meters. With this, we can expect the SUV to be longer than the Land Cruiser and have a very spacious interior. As for considering the exterior dimensions of the SUV, we expect that the 2023 Toyota Century is most likely to be somewhere around 1750 millimeters tall and 1950 millimeters wide. It should also have a curb weight of about 2200 kilograms. Again, it's believed that the Japanese luxury SUV will come mounted with the same engines used in the Lexus LS500H and LC500, which means we could hope to see a 3.5-liter hybrid V6 engine as opposed to the V8. However, if it comes built on the same TNGAK platform as the present Camry, Lexus RX, and Crossover Crown, which is another possibility, then we could also expect to see a 2.4-liter turbocharged cylinder engine. Also, chances are the SUV would come with four-wheel drive and a rear axle. But will the Toyota Century SUV maintain the same target market it's built a reputation for? Well, what we have at best for now are rumors concerning the yet-to-be-released luxury car. So far as we know, we can't say for sure what target market Toyota has in mind. According to reports from Best Car Magazine, Toyota's Century SUV won't be as exotic as the Toyota Century sedan, since it won't be built with a V8. So Toyota might just be thinking of coming up with an SUV that's not limited to the elite and politically powerful population, but also available to the middle class buyer, which is why the V6 makes a better choice for the soon to be released Toyota Century SUV. And that brings us to the next thing on our minds concerning the new Toyota Century, which is exactly what the price the new Century will be going for. According to predictions by Best Cars Magazine, the upcoming luxury car in Toyota's 2023 bucket list should come to the stage with a starting price of about 10 million to 15 million yen, which is the equivalent of 76,000 to 114,000 dollars. That said, when can we expect to see Toyota roll out its Century SUV? While we aren't sure of an exact date we could pinpoint for the release of the car, it's highly likely that the Toyota Century SUV will hit the market anytime in 2023 and be introduced as the Japanese auto giant's 2024 model of the luxury car. Ford reintroduced the Maverick into the market, remodeled it as a small pickup truck, and made a major hit in the pickup truck market, showing to the world just how well the need for a compact pickup truck had not been noticed before the release of the Maverick. Now, Toyota's about to reintroduce its most luxurious car, which should be a close rival to the Rolls-Royce. We've shared what we've come to know so far concerning Toyota's upcoming Century SUV. Toyota definitely has a lot on its plate for 2023. And while a not-sedan Century SUV is the least we'd have expected to be behind the scenes, the reports have it so. What do you think of the Toyota Century SUV? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section.